is I served in Liberia, I know some of these issues. We, we decided smartly to create some invisible uh, uh, arrangements. That is why we have to stand by for us. First. And what and for you to be able to do what America is doing to your ally now, you need a very stable government in Nigeria that, for example, most of the advanced courses that they take in West African military, they come to Nigeria judge and all that to do it. They still go to West Point, some of them go as we are we are working with them on doctrine. And when I speak to some of the Amer uh, African head of state, when I speak to them, if only the guy in uh, now he's removed. The guy in Burkina Faso, when they wanted to remove him and he was having problems, I was with him in uh, Washington, D.C. for about two days discussing the problem. And I realized that, look, you are in the wrong place if you're in Washington, but they're not going to help you, you know, very clearly, because uh, America, France, some of these things, I don't want to go into too many details. They like leaders that are unstable. So they, because if you are unstable in your country, you are easier to deal with diplomatically. So the long and short of this is that you need to first have leaders before they can lead you. Uh, we have been electing rulers for now. But there is no political party that is pursuing this idea and that is raising leaders along that line. So what I want us to do now is that with all these ideas... And sorry, everything... sorry. All the discussions you had had nothing to do with our safety and our defense. You, the standby force, what they do is just to respond... No, let, let okay. Why would I know that? But this depends on what you said. That, that's why I'm going to, real question. I, I can only go with what you said. No, what I say, you see, listen, the point is this that if you are in politics, like I'm due to go to Ghana soon. If I'm in Ghana, if you want to go to Ghana, meet the leaders, meet military leaders, normally in a sub region, if you want to do leadership, you would meet all kinds of leadership. You meet the foreign government. When Rollins used to be there, there was no time, very few times Rollins would come to Nigeria, I will go and not meet him. Or when I go to Ghana, I will not go and meet him. You discuss. You will see all the ten every country has different tendencies too. So you look at the situation. Last time I was in Liberia, I was when they had uh, ECOWAS summit there, I was there for four days. And I was discussing on so many other issues, dealing with other different leaders. You will see that in every coast, you will find out that the foreign minister might be somebody who Things that Nigeria to lead them. The president might be somebody who thinks that, look, I need France. Nigeria cannot support me. I, I, I don't want to mention it, but one of the head of state, shortly before he was removed, when I was discussing with him that this problem you have, it's a problem you could have taken to Nigeria. He was saying, look, this is the problem. I have this problem to see the Nigerian president, and there are these other things. They're not supporting me. In this. So, so everybody has their own issue. You know that. So we are trying to weed it together. Uh, it's part of what we need to do, but we must have political parties that are actually raising leaders to deal with the problems that you identify in the sub-region. Our uh, uh, local uh, problems. I'm, I'm sorry. From what you are saying, there is a lot of waffling going on. There's a lot of waffling going on there. 